This morning, a prominent figure in our studio who's shaping the future of the tri-state area as president of the Greater Memphis Chamber of Commerce, Ted Townsend. Welcome, Ted, to Live at 9. You are Thank looking you. all bright and... Uh, uh, I'm on brand. Okay, yeah, you're on brand. Blue. Yes, yeah. I saw that. Okay, so <laughs> talk to me about, goodness, it's been a year. Yes. Can you believe today. that? Today. It's my one-year anniversary. Hello, anniversary. hello. Th this yeah. is how we do on Live at 9. <laughs> this is how we do it. So how are you feeling about looking back and, and mm -hmm. looking ahead? So I, I think my first reflection centers on the amazing team mm -hmm. I get the privilege of working with every day. Their dedication to making Memphis greater, the support that they have from our members and our investors is gaining more and more support. Um, but their work is also getting recognized in this last year. Uh, the International Economic Development Council awarded us with five medals and uh, we received a gold, in fact, for our collaboration regionally on Blue Oval City. So I'm, I'm incredibly proud of all of the work that our team is doing. Okay, let's talk about the Greater Memphis uh, 2030 plan. You have oh, three yeah. pillars. Yes, we do. So it's a, it's a really bold, aggressive plan called Prosper Memphis 2030. We look to announce 50,000 net new jobs by the end of 2030. Those are gonna be created by 700 new advanced industry firms that we're recruiting. And we're going to produce 20,000 STEM graduates per year. So really aggressive, but all of that makes Memphis greater. It, it, it really means that our economy is gonna be resilient. Okay, let's talk about your commitment to education yeah. from, from the externs, and you also talked about STEM, and I actually yes. worked with you yes, uh, with the externs. Absolutely. That was kinda cool. You know, uh, earlier this year in the summer, we did a teacher externship program. It's the second year of that. We piloted that last year. And this year, we had 20 teachers who did externships, paid externships for two weeks at employers across Memphis. And certainly uh, appreciate your help in, in supporting that. But what that intent is to give teachers access to knowing what these companies are, what it takes to work there, and the hope is they bring that back into the classroom and inspire their kids to know, hey, these are great opportunities right here in our hometown. Right, and so these teachers go and work for companies and then they're able to bring real life experience back to the students. It's this, it's this amazing cycle. It is. Uh, also, you have been working on bringing all of the parties together to talk about public safety. Yes. Tell me, I mean, is that something that you hear a lot from businesses who are interested in coming here and also existing businesses? So Kanji, uh, public safety is a top priority of the business community. And we wanted to figure out what is the chamber's role in that, in supporting these businesses and their concerns. So we decided to focus on pressure and support, and we formed a public safety accountability group. We've had several interactions with officials responsible for public safety to understand what their plans are and figure out how businesses can support that. And one great example of that most recently is our effort to uh, connect businesses with the Connect Memphis program with the Memphis Police Department where it ties cameras in. Mm. Uh, so um, that that is a great platform for businesses to plug in and be a part of creating public safety in our community. Okay, what's this business about a new bridge? I mean, we have the oh, Harahan, we have the yeah. M. Where would it go? <laughs> well, and is it going to happen? Yeah, Sorry, I'm hitting things. No, it's all good. We're I'm excited. Like, where, We're all excited where, about the bridge. Is it real? Are, are the yeah. feds going to come and do this? So so, you know, the chamber was instrumental in supporting the state of Tennessee in the passage of the Transportation Modernization Act this year, just this year. And we're already seeing the benefits of, of a mechanism like this where we can now pursue federal funds that are available. And, and in this case, it would be looking at replacing Interstate 55 with a signature bridge that will redefine our skyline, create greater access, but most importantly, safety for motorists. America's river crossing is absolutely critical, and we've seen the importance of that resiliency. Okay. Tomorrow is the big yeah. chamber annual chamber luncheon. Uh, yeah. Can you give us any sneak peeks or just tell us what you're looking forward to in the future? We have one minute left. Yeah, so tomorrow is all about celebrating what's great mm -hmm. in Memphis. And we had so many accomplishments and accolades this year that we're excited to share. We've got some surprises. Uh, but, you know, we want to focus on Memphis getting national attention. Wall Street Journal ranks us one of the, the best uh, cities, number four in momentum, and tech workers 
Washington Post has featured us. Gusto ranked Memphis the fastest growing city in the nation for jobs. So we have much to celebrate. Tomorrow culminates all of that, and we're excited for you to be there, a part of that Yes, as well. I can't wait. Anything sneaky you can tell us? Well, or maybe a precursor to something, because yeah. I know you you want to drop it then. Yeah, so we, we will feature Mayor-elect Paul Young, and I know he has some exciting news. Uh, we also have a partnership with, uh, with some of our, our great uh, uh, folks focused on diversity, equity, and inclusion here in the city. So we're really excited about bringing all of that together in one room. Okay, I can't thank you enough. I know that this is an important day for you. I mean, is. this is your one-year anniversary. You're nice. getting ready for tomorrow, so we Absolutely. really appreciate you taking your time. And, of course, if you want to check out the Memphis Chamber, go to memphischamber.com and join businesses. Join.